to day four of our Rad Mama week. Our next guest is a chef, author, and all around Rad Mama who's taught us how to make everything from TikTok pasta to Valentine's Day candy cakes. They're all good. Um, today she's here to tell us about her new memoir, um, and it's called You Are Always There, Notes and Recipes for Living a Life You Love. And it's available right now wherever books are sold. So let's welcome Danielle Cardin. Yeah! Oh, here it is. Different position. We're in a different sitting. position. We're lounging. We're lounging. We, we're in a silky dress. Your book. Your yeah. your dress feels so soft. It's by so the way. silky. Yes. Guys. I just want to like roll around. I in know. It. It's it's not, I know. It's kind of like I'm like I would sleep in that. It's I so feel soft. yes. It feels yes. like a little nightgowny, but great. What did you bring though? This is okay. This looks delicious. This is so great. Okay. So we have the brown butter. Dark chocolate bundt cake. <laughs> okay. That's in the book. That's in the book. You're okay. always there. It's also going to be my mouth. Okay. Yes, it's so <laughs> delicious. And then we have the duck horn cab, which we can't do this segment without some wine. Let's pair it. Yes. Yeah. Let's okay. Pair it. Let's wait, try I'm it. Wait, I'm going to do this. Wait, mm. wait, mm. wait. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to, on to the couch. A book. Yeah. Cheers to on the couch. You know what's so cool? So the title of the book is called You Were Always There. And okay. I feel like so often in times we feel like we lose ourselves. Mm. I mean, to motherhood, to career change, to mm -hmm. hard stuff that happens. Life. And I used to think before I wrote this book and all the things that we, you know, we went through, I thought if I could just get back to that girl, if I could just get back to that girl who was a little bit thinner, the yeah. girl that was a little, that had a different hey! plan. <laughs> no, and we we miss out on so much life. And yeah. when I was writing this book, I thought, you know what? You were always there. You're always there. That girl, that other girl, she's gone. This is who we are now. And if we yeah. can embrace it and love it, so that's just been a special thing for me. Like you get rid of the notion that you lost yourself because you didn't. You're yeah. right here, right where you're supposed to be. And joy and sorrow can live together. Yeah. And the whole idea is I wanted people to relate back to it. Yeah. Um, and there's there's just so much fun stuff. I know there's a picture of me and Martha Stewart. There's a something. Oh my God. Is, so I want you to tell this story. I yeah. love this story. This is the greatest story. I feel like everybody can relate to this. I was working on a job and there was nowhere for me to stay at Sundance. And so I'm with this big corporation and they're like, well, you can stay with our like high level executives. I felt like an idiot. I'm like me with them. Like I don't belong there. That's not for me. Yeah. So there's nowhere for me to go. I go to this house and they're like, well, we have this dinner with Martha Stewart later. And I was like, cool. Can I go? And they said, no, you can't go. Like, you're just in the house because you have to be in the house. And uh, I love then, that you ask, though. You yeah, never you know. have to ask. Yeah. So then uh, a couple minutes later, one of the ladies knocks on my door, and she's like, you know what? We were thinking about it. We're paying for it. Why can't you go? And I was like, yes. So I get there. I didn't bring anything cute to wear. I had this weird tight blazer. So I throw the tight blazer on, and I'm like, I'm going to the dinner. I'm going to the dinner. Well, if there's only 100 people in this room, so I'm, like, trying to find her, trying to, like, sneak attack with pictures because I'm the weird one at the table, have nothing in common with any of these ladies and uh i'm getting the picture like queued up here she is and we may we literally lock eyes yeah. in my camera and i was like holy oh my god please lord kill me i mean don't kill me made me like made me pass out or something yeah she saw me then she starts walking towards me and i'm like i have just humiliated myself beyond belief and she Lean walks in. in she walks in i'm like what's happening and she goes did we get it yeah. <laughs> And oh, she no. does. She does have that low this voice, low, that low like soothing. Yeah. Yes. And uh. I said, no, we didn't get it. She goes, pull your phone back out. So I pulled it out and snapped this picture. And it just this. It was this big light bulb moment for me. Like you belong at the table. Ask for a seat. Yeah. But you belong there. So yeah. this whole book is really about really hard times, living with really great times, being super broken, poor, and finding yeah. our way and figuring out that you never left. Do you think that that drives you though? Because I feel yeah. like that's what drove me. I had nothing to lose because yes. I had already lost so much. And it's neat when we share because when you share your story and your hardship and the things that you've gone through, you unlock possibilities for other people. Because they and go, wait, if alone, they did it, then I can. Then I can yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. And when you tell somebody else, then the shame leaves too. Like, oh mm. my gosh, I know what that's like to wake up in the morning and play beat Ugh. the bank hit the atm before the red all the bills come out and it's red for the week yeah i, I think we're it. from the same kind of background girl so. i know um, both <laughs> hey yeah 40s are gonna be so good they're so good um thank you so much Danielle. i love You're this welcome. we have to cook more but yeah. also this more yes, yes and that cake is delicious oh it's so good here yeah i just bite. totally did the top and is it's, actually the best part i know because it's like kind of crispy mm -hmm. <gasps> we yeah. are soulmates okay so yeah good. that's so good everybody be sure to pick up danielle's newest book you you are always there. Notes and recipes for living a life you love. Wherever books are sold, you can find it. Um, you can also find the recipe for this incredible brown butter. Just saying brown butter makes my mouth water. Brown butter chocolate bun cake in there. Um, and everyone in the audience can make it tonight because you're all going home with a copy. Burr, burr, burr. Yeah.